with your spirit. graciousness toward everyone, to various desires and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful ourselves and hating one another. But when the kindness and generous love of God, our Savior, appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Alleluia, alleluia. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. As Jesus continued his journey up to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, 
have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord. We kneel now for our Novena and Honor of Our Lady of Mount Carmel in St. Anne. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. We fly to you, Our Lady and Our Mother, with entire confidence. Your Son has given you all power over his heart. Do take us, your children, and place us in that divine heart, so that our souls may be purified from all that is displeasing to him, so that henceforth our hearts may be like yours on the love of God and our neighbor. O most beautiful flower of Mount Carmel, fruitful vine, splendor of heaven, singular vessel of the Holy Spirit, hear my prayer as I kneel before you. O Mary, Queen of Heaven, from the bottom of my heart, I beg you to hear in my prayers and grant me the graces and favors I ask in this novena. If what I ask is not for the glory of God or the salvation of my soul, do give me peace of mind in what is most conducive to both. Stretch out, O most bountiful Jesus, your pierced hands which you on the cross have stretched out for all sinners. And bless us in body and soul as you ascending into heaven have blessed your apostles, that our enemy, terrified at the sign of the cross, may flee from us and not hurt us. So bless us, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. I know to pray to good Saint Anne. Glorious Saint Anne, fill with compassion for those who invoke you, and with love for those who suffer, heavily laden with the weight of my troubles, I cast myself at your feet and humbly beg you to take the present affair, which I commend you under your special protection. Deign to commend it to your daughter, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and lay it before the throne of Jesus so that he may bring it to a happy ending. Cease not to intercede for me until my request is granted. Above all, obtain for me the grace of one day beholding my God face to face, and with you and our Blessed Mother and all the saints, praising and blessing him for all eternity. Good Saint Anne, Mother of her, who is our life, our sweetness, and our hope, pray for me. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit to the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, O Lord our God, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin of Tours, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayer sustains us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your... In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, Robert, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. And remember your servant, Natalie Swift, whom you have called from this world unto yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Carmel, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Martin of Tours, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare now to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ, mm-hmm. 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 the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. Grant to us who have been restored by the sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with all with your will in all things the just as saint martin submitted himself entirely to you so we too may glory in being truly yours through christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you 
May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, remain with you forever and ever. Go in peace.